Hello and welcome. In the last video we looked at installing uh, font files, uh, both from the package manager and ones you download from websites such as this 1001 free fonts and you know, no affiliation. It's just one of the first ones that comes up in the search and they have lots of fonts and it's a very easy website to use to see the fonts, see the license on them and quickly download them. I just downloaded this Anna's Rusty uh, type font or typewriter. Uh, and I unzipped it, and as you can see, they actually have two copies of this. One is an OTF and one is a TTF. They're probably the same fonts. They're just different uh, file types. TTFs have been around for a long time. I believe they're probably, I think, originally developed by Microsoft. OTF is open uh, type font, so it's just an open format. Uh, where TTF, I guess, is a proprietary, or at least at one point, I don't know the licensing on it at this point. Uh, both are very commonly used. TTF has just been around longer. OTF is a, is a newer uh, format. Um, we installed the font manager using our package manager. I, I used apt to install font manager, and now I can double click, and it should open up my font manager here, and I can click install, and that font is now installed to my system, and I can use it in applications. Uh, but let's quickly look at how to do this without the font manager in your shell. So what we're going to do, I'll just download another font here and I'll unzip it. So now again we have, I, I only really need to copy one of these because I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same fonts, just different file formats. But how do I install it? All we have to do is copy it to a folder and there's two different folders, uh, well three. So. Uh, used to be you would be able to copy it to a folder, a hidden folder in your home directory, dot fonts, and that's where you can put fonts for the local user. Since then, they've moved it to your home directory, dot local shared fonts, but I think that it's still at this point backwards compatible with most systems to put in dot fonts, but you should start using the newer standard. Um, so again, if I list out here, I'm going to want to install this one. All I have to do is copy that file to my root directory, or sorry, my home directory, local share fonts. And one more thing that we need to do is run a command that allows your system to look at that folder and just update the system fonts, which would be fc-cache-f-v. Once we run that, it's gonna run through your system and looking for new fonts and it should only take, there you go. Now I should be able to go to uh, Writer here and see if Silvery, whatever, yep, and it's installed. Uh, so that's one way, but that's installing it for that individual user. If there's more than one user on your system, uh, that font won't show up for them. If you wanted to set it up so that it's a system-wide font, uh, there's a different folder for the system, although you'll need root access to write to it. And that directory is, let's make this full screen, clear that, uh, forward slash USR, shared, fonts, true type, although probably true type is very true type, let's see, um, and we'll list out what's in here. So under fonts, and there's different folders, and uh, you would put your, to keep organized, open type would go in that, true type, the TTF would go in that folder, uh, and then you would still, I believe, need to run your FC cache command and that will update it. Uh, so in that, that point, it should be installed for all the users on your system. Um, I don't normally do this, I keep them in my home directory. Uh, this is where, if you were install uh, fonts from your package manager, they're probably here. Uh, I'm the only really user on my system, uh, besides root, but I'm not usually editing Word documents and stuff as root. Uh, plus it's easier for me to back up my home directory and have all my fonts backed up for when I move to a new system. But it's all up to you whether you have multiple users or a single user or where you just like to store stuff. But those are your two options, either USR share fonts or in your home directory dot local forward slash shared forward slash fonts. Uh, once you do that, they're now available to the full system or full system or user, depending on what folder you put it in. Uh, but that will come in handy as you'll see in our next video, because let's say you have a thousand font files. Do you really want to click on each one individually to open up a font manager, click install, close that, click on the next one, click install, open up the next one, click install? No, you want to be able to do it from the, from the shell, because especially with things like that, the shell is great 
for automating things, which is what computers are for. And like most things, it's just quicker to do it from the shell once you know how to do it. So in the next video, we are going to actually look at writing a script uh, that pulls down thousands of fonts from free 1001freefonts.com and installs them. So uh, be sure to check that out in the next video in the next day or so. Uh, also, while you're uh, waiting for that, or if you want to see other videos of mine, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both this channel and my second channel. And you can also find scripts that I've written under the scripts section. Um, and you can also support me at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000 or through PayPal in the support section on my website. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.